All of the things that I'm going to be saying in this video are available online. All of my sources are going to be in the description. These are my opinions. Always do your own research. You know how I feel about online courses, specifically the ones that say that they're going to help you sell more beats or help you sell your first beat or help you sell enough beats to quit your nine to five. Back in the day, there was a book called The 4-Hour Work Week, and that was by a man named Tim Ferriss. The first thing that you had to do in Tim Ferriss's book was to stop wasting time. Whether that had to do with responding to emails at work or even working at all, he says just have enough savings and quit your job. The second thing that you had to do was invent a product, a product that everybody wanted. Fast forwarding a lot of steps here. Eventually you have this product, you're making four to six hundred thousand dollars a year. That's not enough though. Now you have to move to Asia because now the exchange rate on the money, the US dollars are going to get you a lot more money over in whatever country that you choose to live in. And that was the four hour work week. Back in the day, way back in the day, when everybody was watching cable TV at like three o'clock in the morning, these infomercials would come on. One of the infomercials was about some dude that told you that you could make millions of dollars just with classified ads in the newspaper. The second way to make money that I stumbled onto was placing tiny classified ads in the newspaper. If you create and test one tiny classified ad in the newspaper that makes just 30 to $40 profit in a week, it could make you a fortune. So all of these classified ads, and he would be like, this is your step-by-step -step guide to escape your nine to five, to have a better, more fulfilling life. I used to be just like you. I was a broke bitch, and now I'm not. Fast forward again to YouTube, Ty Lopez probably the most scammy person of all time, he would start to pull these ads on YouTube and everybody has seen these. Here in my garage, got my Lamborghini here. It's fun to drive up in the Hollywood Hills. But do you know what I love more than materialistic things? Knowledge. Knowledge. Now, this particular business was some kind of a book flipping business or some kind of a book selling business. I'm not even sure what the business was for. Later, he started doing dating websites and he owned a lot of different dating websites because they would get shut down because what he would do, there was virtually no real women that used these websites. It was all guys. He would have bought females respond to the guys on this dating website. The bot female's face would be blurred. And the only way that you could unblur this girl's face was to sign up for this monthly subscription plan that was really expensive. When the guy would actually sign up for the subscription plan, he would pretty quickly notice that there were no real women on the websites. And all of a sudden, the Better Business Bureau would be flooded with complaints. Ty Lopez would pick up shop and then start another dating website under a whole different name, and he would just keep this going and going and going. He's erased this from his entire history. If you go to his LinkedIn, the dating websites aren't even there. But he didn't stop. This guy has sold courses on so many different things, including real estate, which is a big one. A lot of people sell courses on real estate. My, what's up, YouTube? We're doing a live debate. I'm curious. I'm, I'm actually curious about your real estate shot. All right, so give me the formula for a cap rate. Can you define what a cap rate is? So real, let's talk about real estate for a second. Let's two. No, 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 no. Define the formula of a cap rate. Do you know what a cap rate is? Absolutely. Cap rate, it is, it's like ROI in the stock market. They call it no, cap rate. No, it's you very avalar formula for a cap rate. All right, John, can I say one thing on real estate? Ty, you cannot teach a real estate course. And I love you, bro. Much John, John. Everything. But you cannot teach a real estate course. Three tips to improving your life. Only listen to qualified people. And most people aren't qualified. All of these guys have something in common. And the reason that I'm bringing them up in this video about beat maker courses is because they rip a page directly out of these guys' playbook. But what people don't realize is Ty Lopez paved the way for an invasion of what you can call internet online gurus and if you've ever tried searching for money related topics business entrepreneurship or self-development at this point they're in so many different niches i can't keep count but you will probably be flooded with at some point an ad with them talking straight at you into a camera literally for some producers there's one feature on this new beat store that with being set up could easily make them an extra 100 300 or even up to 500 plus a month
I'm gonna tell you how I made over a million dollars online as a music producer. What kind of beats sell the most, Curtis King? Let's talk about it. If you struggle with getting your first sale, consistent sales, or even scaling your business up from the thousands into the tens of thousands, this video is for you. I'm gonna put this instead of this email, this email, and this email, and then go into your email and say, I'm gonna put one here, 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 and here. And when people go to these, you're educating them, providing them more value. They're trusting me more. They're trusting you more. They buy things from both of us. It's that simple, guys. There's just so many of them. It's like a copy and paste. The blueprint for selling courses on YouTube is a few different steps. Mike Winnan, I think he coined this phrase, contrapreneur. What a contrapreneur does is they con. And they con with a few different tactics. One is a feeling of scarcity. Before time runs out, before product runs out, you need to make this move. It stops you from thinking. Agency, right? Of now is the time, seize the day, it's got to be now. Um, more crude in sales would be sale ends bank holiday Monday, right? If you don't grasp this deal now, then it disappears. So now is the time, you time, time bound it. They'll also use things on their websites like timers. They'll be like a tick, 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 tick on some of these timers and that makes you want to buy really, really quickly. Does it not an autoplay video? He's got some fancy house, the dotted line box. Like this is scam stuff central. You don't see high quality brands doing it like this. It works. But again, this is what makes you people associate you and him as a scam potentially. Prices most of the time end in a seven. This is kind of some pseudoscience. This course used to be $1,900, but now it's only $29.97. Or only this many people are gonna be invited into this course. So act now, even though every single person that signs up for the course gets in. So I went to sign up with a fictitious artist name called The Real Verbal. Verbal was the name of my old business, so I also had a separate email info at verbal.com. You also need to provide them with a link to your music so they can listen to some of your stuff. I just entered a URL that did not exist. And lo and behold, one day later, I received an email with an invitation code to join Pete Club. Editing here, and I realized that I forgot to mention another really, really big one. Free. Free courses. Free things. The reason that they do this is to rope you in, because if they offer you something free, it's really not free. It's time. You're spending so much time in these different free courses that the entire time that you're in these free courses, they're going to be trying to get you into their ecosystem so that hopefully eventually you spend some money. Free training. So before we get into the video, I just want to say that there is a free Beats on course in the description below and join our completely free training. I now have a free funnel course. I'm just sure to attend our free live class that they have a free Instagram sales training and register for one of my free trainings. These tactics are as old as time. Now, when somebody is selling a legitimate product, they don't feel the need to use these tactics because they already know that people are going to be happy with that product. Why is it that these things are used? Is it because it works? Is it because it's effective? Is it because it ropes you in? Yes. They would all sell courses, whether that be Amazon FBA, stock market investing, day trading, whatever their shtick was. They wanted you to believe they got rich doing that, but they actually got rich selling these courses. With your experience, um, has there ever been a time where you've reached out to me and I, and I wasn't there for you or you asked the question and I didn't answer it? Uh, there was a couple times, but you're going through stuff. Like you had like a arm surgery and shit like that, you know, but, well, uh, but I got back to you. Come on. There's a lot of empty promises and there's a lot of comments. I've gone through hours and hours and hours of these different beat selling course videos. And I've seen so many things that lined up. Every time a sleazy salesman will outcompete an honest salesman if given no regulation on the industry, which currently we really don't have much regulation.